today we will see the examples of additive identity and multiplicative identity. If a bucket has 15 litres of water and another bucket is empty, then what is the total amount of water in both the buckets? In the given example, the first bucket has 15 litres of water, the second bucket is empty, which means that it has 0 litres of water in it. To find the total amount of water in both buckets, we have to add both values, that is, the value of 15 litres plus 0 litres has to be found. 0 is the additive identity. Can you tell me the reason? Let me explain. This is because if any number is added to 0, the result will be the same number. Therefore, the total amount of water is 15 litres. Next example. Poonam writes one poem every day. How many poems will she write in 30 days? Poonam writes one poem every day. Therefore, in 30 days, she will write 30 times one poem. One is the multiplicative identity. Can you tell me why? Let me explain. This is because if any number is multiplied by 1, the result will be the same number. Therefore, 30 times 1 is 30, which means Poonam can write 30 poems in 30 days. Next example. Find the value of 130 multiplied by 1 plus 120 plus 0. To solve this, we definitely need to understand the multiplicative identity and the additive identity. Multiplying the number 130 by 1 gives the same whole number that is 130. Similarly, when 120 is added to 0, we will get the same number. 130 plus 120 is equal to 250. That is, the solution of a given example is 250. Such examples can be solved easily by understanding the multiplicative identity and the additive identity. Next example. How to express the following arrangements in multiplication? Here we have some rows of squares. To express this in multiplication, we write the number of rows first and then the number of squares in each row. Here, the number of rows are 6 and each row has one square. So, we will express this in multiplication as 6 multiplied by 1. As discussed earlier, by using the commutative property of multiplication, we can write 6 multiplied by 1 as 1 multiplied by 6 as well. But in practice, it will be expressed by making 6 squares in one row. Here, 1 is the multiplicative identity. So, whether we write 6 multiplied by 1 or 1 multiplied by 6, the result will be 6. Today we saw the examples of additive identity and multiplicative identity. In the next video, we will discuss some misconceptions related to this.